Math Marvels, we're officially in eighth grade looking at geometry now. And in these first set of lessons, we're going to talk about volume. So that's the work we're going to do right now. We're going to start with rectangular prisms first. And for rectangular prisms and for a lot of shapes, we're going to look at our three dimensions. So we're looking 3D. And in this case, we're talking length, width, and height, those three dimensions that go from something that is flat to that having that third dimension makes it look like we have actual space to us. And for rectangular prisms, so I'm gonna put that rectangular prisms, we're gonna use the formula volume equals length times width times height. And for cubes, and cubes mean every single side is the same, just like our picture over here. We're going, we can use volume is equal to side cubed. Why? Because it's the same thing as saying side times side times side. You're still multiplying all three numbers. So to be fair, doesn't really matter if you want to say length width times height for a cube. That is fine, but you could also just express it as saying side cubed in case you see both of them. Um, so for example, in this case, I have this nice little cube volume. I would write down the formula. And this is one third cubed or one third times one third times one third. I multiply my numerators. I get one and three times three is nine. Nine times three is 27. So my volume is equal to one over 27. Now, because I have three dimensions, I'm gonna put yards to the third power, cubic yards. Cause that's how much space I can fit in there. One is cubes amount of space to fill it in. So we're gonna hit pause right over here so you can jot this down in your notes and we're gonna look at some more examples. In this problem, I'm already reading it out. Sam has a hamster cage, and cages are usually rectangular. Uh, and you have our three dimensions, 20 and a half inches by 12 inches by 10 and one fourth inches tall. And we wanna know what is the volume in cubic inches for his cage. So this is definitely a geometry problem. And we know our three dimensions, because we're looking for volume. So times length, times width, times height. And we know our three dimensions are 20 and a half by 12 by 10 and one four. So what's gonna be my strategy? I'm gonna use the volume formula. And I'm gonna sub the three dimensions. And then I'm just gonna solve it and solve. That, that's my formula, that's my work. So to eliminate, I'm going to actually, I'm gonna estimate to eliminate. So what I mean is um, 20 and a half times 12 times 10 and a half. I'm not gonna do the example, so let's just approximate here. What if it was just 20 times 10 times 10? So I'm just making my numbers super duper friendly. So all I'm doing, like, so I can approximate about how much this is gonna be. Um, with my first one's 20 times 10. All right, that's 200. So, and 200 times 10 is gonna be 2,000. Okay, so this is again, in my approximation, my answer is gonna be about 2,000. So I know that the first two are way too small. Because my number should be somewhere around a 2000 so my next two either C or D is going to be correct. All right, so let's really do it I always start by rewriting my formula volume equals length times width times height And I'm gonna write in my three dimensions. I Don't have to worry about the order of them um, I'm going to turn them into fractions so I can multiply them. Okay, I just wanna double check that. Yep, this is two on the bottom. 
I just put this over one and this one over four. Um, Math Marvels, the first time I did this on uh, my first video, I had a two here and it completely gave me a different answer. So I was so glad I wrote out my work so I can find my answer very quickly, but that's how easy it is to just recopy something wrong. All right, so if you take out your calculators, you can multiply 41 times 12 times 41. I'm not gonna do it by hand. And I don't suggest anyone here does either. It's that's not what we're testing for. We're practicing volume, not multiplying. And you should get 20,174. And your denominators, you should not use a calculator for two times one times four. It's just equal to eight. And we're gonna simplify that more. And you're gonna divide by eight. And when you do that, your calculator is gonna tell you something like this: 2,521 and five tenths. That's the same as um, just looking at it. If you were to put that into as a fraction, that would be 2,521 and a half. And that absolutely matches our answer D. So you can stop and put that down into your notes. And let's do another one. So we're gonna read the problem again. It's nice and simple. What is the volume of a cube with an edge length of two thirds yards? So again, this is geometry. We have a cube and the side is two thirds yards. All right, so being that it's a cube, Again, you can use either formula, volume equals length four times height, and you just know they're gonna be the same, or you can do volume is equal to side cubed, and we're gonna sub and solve. We're gonna sub our dimensions, and solve. Um, we can estimate, again, if you like, I kind of feel like in this one it's gonna be pretty easy to go through. Um, two thirds is somewhere between a half and one. Uh, so I know my answer, if I round it up to one, it would be one times one times one, I would get one. So I should definitely not get an answer that's much, much bigger than that. Uh, and just looking at my answers, I'm looking at eight over three, that one just looks way too big. So I think I'm gonna eliminate B, because I would get an answer of two and two thirds, and I know my answer should be less than one. So I'm gonna eliminate that one. I think I'm also gonna eliminate D, because again, I rounded up to one, so I shouldn't get an answer that's more than one. So it's either gonna be A or C, okay? That was my estimation. All right, so let's go in there. Uh, I'm going to use volume is equal to side to the third power. So that's the same thing as two thirds to the third power. Don't get freaked out if you don't know how to do something like this again. For right now, just think of repeated multiplication. Two thirds times two thirds times two thirds. We'll do more stuff with exponents in a future lesson. Two times two times two. Very easy way to make a mistake. It is not six. A lot of kids see that and just add it and say six. Two times two is four. Four times two is eight. And three times three is nine. Nine times three is 27. So we get eight and 27 yards to the third power. So again, yeah, it was supposed to be less than one. Uh, and that means our answer is C. So you can jot that one down and put it into your notes. And we're gonna use the same formula in a lot of our problems today. Again, if it's a rectangle, use length, width, and height. If it is a cube, you can use side cubed, which is still the same as length, width, and height. So please don't forget your Unis Math Marvels. We're talking cubic units, so we're not gonna have the little square. There should be a, um, an, exp a, an actual to the third power, whatever your units are to the third power. So we're going to stop there for today. I will see you in the next lesson, Math Marbles. Take care. Bye.